Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play New Horizons. Last time we met up with Paula, who's going to be joining us for the remainder of, remainder of our voyage. Uh, we ended up here in the port of London, and we hired a new guy, uh, new guys, but I ran out of time last time, so I didn't get to finalize um, everything that I was going to do. So the first thing that I need to do is, you remember last time I bought my new Venetian, so we're going to start using that. I'm going to, uh, first thing is transfer some crew... Um, you know, every little bit helps early on in the game. Now you may think, oh, that's only seven ga seven guys. Won't make that much of a difference. But again, when you don't have a whole lot of money uh, early on, every little bit helps. We're also going to transfer our cargo because we want to make sure that um, we don't have to spend as much on food and water. Okay, so now we want to sell our old ship because we don't need it anymore. It served us well, but, uh, you know, it's time to move on to bigger ships. Okay, and we'll select the Venetian as our new ship. All right, and we're ready to go. Now, what you could do is you could actually just remodel a bunch of ships and turn them into cargo ships. Um, but I would actually uh, advise against doing that. Um, well, you can do it, and, and that'll actually be okay. I like to do it the other way, uh, this way where you uh, get a full-out battleship and then build a fleet from there for a couple reasons, and I'll talk about that a little more as we go. So but what we want to do here is we want to hire some crews. So we go to the cafe. And we're going to treat a bunch of people. Ooh, that's expensive. Ooh. Some Sometimes each serving can only cost one, depending on where you are. <clears throat> so anyways, I can get about 100 guys here, and we're going to get 100 for our team there. Um, the reason that I like to have a battleship is because, um, one, it, it, let me, it lets me achieve higher rankings faster uh, without having to do adventure quests. And you never want to do an adventure quest for the king because... Uh, that way, if you because you have sometimes go discover villages for him, but you don't get credit for the fame and adventure if you report uh, discoveries to him instead of the uh, the village guy in Bordeaux. I can't remember what he's called. The uh, whatever it is. Anyways, so you definitely want to do it in either piracy or trade. We're gonna go ahead and do it piracy because it's more fun. You get a more uh, more of a battle level, which can be used to hire better guys, and it also um, allows you to get more ships and money and stuff like that. So. Now, you can only hire crew once a day, so we need to rest up, wait till the daytime again, before I can go hire more crew in the cafe. And I'll probably do this uh, a couple times. Actually, I probably won't need to do it more than this, because I'm just going to be attacking a merchant ship first. And I can use the crew that I win from uh, the ships of the battle so to, uh, to fill up my crew. And I'll show you that there in a little bit. The other reason that I like to do it uh, this way, or that I want to get a higher ranking, is because I'll get a better discount. Uh, when I want to start trading, and that's going to be important for getting the money, the real money that I need to travel around the world. And uh, once you build up a certain amount of money, you don't really need to do any more trading, though it never hurts to do so. Okay, so we're now good to go. Uh, 207, that should be good enough. Um, what you also want to do is, before you leave here, uh, we want to get a telescope, because that will allow us to see things from really far away, and um, that's just important for us to get. So we're going to get a telescope. And it only costs 5000 so it's a good investment. And uh, now we can see things really far away. Okay, now we want to re-sign some of our crew, because we want to make sure that we have enough for for combat. So, let's see, how much if we do 40... Because you need 60 men to keep the ship afloat. Nope, I want to get 5%. Uh, and then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, that should be about good. Oops, sorry. Uh, let's try... Let's have 40. Let's do 40 and then 5. That, that should be good. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and you want to have at least 10 for um, navigate or for uh, looking for lookout. Lookout, that's what it's called. Because if you have if you have 10 and a telescope, you can see things really far away. Okay, I guess I better get him some food and water. Okay, we're now ready to go. So let's go and uh, start attacking some fleets. All right, now. We want to attack someone that, that's kind of a weak, low battle level. Um, the Turkish are good initial people to attack. Um, this guy actually isn't bad, Edmund Harvey. And, and, and early on in the game, it doesn't really matter who you attack. Um, uh, the, only, the only reason that you may want to not uh, attack the British guy is because sometimes they'll... Um, like, there's a British guy that we want to hire, and sometimes the game will hire him. Uh, instead, but you know what? Well, he's already got away, so it's unfortunate. But that's okay. Let's see what we got here. Ah, oh, there's Julian Filmer. Ah, oh, they're looking for Italians. Maybe we should go attack some Italians. Either way, it's fine. So we're gonna speed up here. 
And see, there's the port of Nantes. It's really far away, but since I have maximum lookout and a telescope, then I'm good to go. Okay, let's see who we got here. Okay, don't we don't want to attack a battle fleet just yet. And this is an Italian fleet, but his battle level is really strong. I would avoid Italian merchant fleets because you actually can't get too much for their ships. And that guy has really high battle level. And we definitely don't want to attack him. He's got a battle level of 30. We're not quite ready for that yet. Let's see who we got here. Ah, this is a Turkish battle fleet. He's actually kind of weak. So this actually might not be a bad first battle. What's he up to? Oh, they're on their way home. Well, he's just, he's actually not really heading home, but, um, let's see. He's only got a really 120 crew per ship, but he's probably going to challenge us to a duel. So, and let's just go with the merchant fleet. Just, just to get started. And there's the port of Suda, which is nice. Okay, I probably have to stop and reload here on some supplies. Okay, he's weak too, or, but there's an Italian fleet, so we don't want to mess with them. Um, I'm really hoping to find a Turkish battle fleet, that I, or a Turkish merchant fleet, that would be... Ah! Oh, he's one of our guys, shoot. I always love attacking the Dutch, I really do. So, it's unfortunate that we're from Holland. I could, you, can, you can defect uh, to a different country, just like we did with Pietro. But, um, actually while we're in this area, we can probably hire some new guys too, which is always a good thing. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Something's got to show up soon. Now you could have attacked one of those other guys, and it really it, and it had been fine to do so. All right, come on. Syracuse is usually a hotbed of, of activity. We'll usually find someone around here. Okay, let's see who that is. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um. Well, he's got a high battle level, but his ships are fairly weak. So okay, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and attack him. If I can ever get into the attack mode. Okay. And attack. So he's battle level 15, but again, he has pretty weak ships. So I'll go ahead and show you this battle, what the best way to do this is. And stop your ship, or we'll attack, we say. Oh, why should we listen to you? Da, da, da. So they're apparently ready for us. Okay. Now, we want to get right at him. Now. If he challenges you to a duel, or if he wants challenges to a duel, you say no. And he loses some of his crew there, and they're going to keep rushing us. So, and that's just the keep, that's the deal. You just want to keep rushing. Uh, that's the easiest way to get, to win your first battle. Now, I probably should have hired full crew, but that's okay. Yeah, there, uh, one more rush, and I should have him defeated. And we'll get some of his ships, and um, we can start to earn some money. So that's a good thing. Got him. Yes. Yay! Completely destroyed the Spanish fleet. Ooh, Crown of Majesty. That's nice. And we can get three ships. Now, always want to take the ship and call it A. That's a good thing to do. And uh, we'll do it with these other ones here. And we'll call it A. And I'll do one more, and we'll, of course, call it A. Because we're just going to sell these ships. We don't really need them. Um, we're just doing them for... Uh, so we can get some money. Okay. And we'll get some food and water here. Important to have that. And some extra food just to make sure we get back. Okay. All right, good. Oops. All right, excellent. Help, SOS, save me. No. Okay. Good job, everybody. And we got our first victory done. Let's see our characters. Well, I'll check in the town. So. Okay, I'm going to reload here real quick. And I'll meet you here in the port of Syracuse. We'll get some level ups here, which should be nice. Hey, Anton got a level up. Excellent. Okay. We'll stop here for just a moment. Okay. We are made it here to the port of Syracuse, and we're all good to go. So, uh, first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to transfer our crew. Because um, we might as well get some free crew out of winning the battle as well. Now, you're always going to get one-fifth. Um, the amount of crew that's listed when you win the battle. So, and usually when you win a battle, they have maximum crew on all their ships. So you'll get, you'll retain about one fifth of the crew from that. And so what I'm gonna do is transfer that to my, tra transfer them to my main ship. And we're gonna go ahead and sell our old ships. I'll show you how to do that real quick. And this is just you can uh, rinse, lather, and repeat um, at this at your own will. But I'll just show you this process and just see how much, show you how much money you can make. Now, and I'll save this again. Viewers, you have to remember that I'm showing this right from the very beginning, as if nobody's ever watched this, uh, watch how to play these games. So if you've seen these walkthroughs before, I apologize. But anyways, yeah, we're getting, you know, two gold ingots per ship, almost, uh, 
one and a half for the other one. So right there, I made an extra five gold ingots, just like that. So you can, it's a pretty quick way to make some money. Battles. Ooh, I've already got 875 fame and piracy. That's good. Let's see how my character's doing. Hey, he's got a battle level of five already. That's pretty good after just one battle. Excellent. Okay. Well, I'm actually out of time. So what I'm going to do is off screen, I'm going to hire some more crew so I can start to uh, get some more crew. And then uh, next time, I'm actually going to start show you which guys that you need to hire. And then also show you a duel as well. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.